All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Uh-huh. And today, we are going to do the completed walkthrough of the pool house renovations. Yay! So let's go. And if you like what you see here, please consider liking and subscribing. Google's demands it. All right. Um, wow, what lag. You can see <laughs> there's stuff missing. Yes. Uh, after a long day, since I own all this, a long day of train driving and restauranting and everything else, I like to go back and look at the fish. No, well, I do that, but. We're going to check out the renovations to the pool house with the newly renovated tunnel. An emergency exit. And look at those blocks. Is that cool? I'll tell you about those in a second. And mom and pop lights, my favorite. We come here. We come into this beautiful foyer. Foyer? Foyer? into the house and this is the landing room so we will go down here and look at that remember what this place looked like with the pathetic elevator and the small bedroom yeah since this is all carved into one big huge piece of rock look at those views Go check out the, the fishies. Look at that. I had more. I stocked some more fish in there. But they all swam away. There's a shark. There he is. Dun, 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 Yeah. Okay. So. Hi, Mr. Penguin. I have some pet penguins. And they are potty trained. Except. They're all black until. Cool. All right, so let's get on with the um, with the show here. We have a TV viewing room. Those are those are recolored um, mom and pop furniture tables. I love that color, but I love those tables. And I found some new textures. Um, I was watching a a live a live stream of Nathan over at uh, Mindtest Videos. And he had happened on uh, opengameart.org for textures and stuff. So this is my leather texture. And so I made some gray leather couches and chairs. And I also have a brown one, which I'll show you in a second. These wood, these wood, new wood blocks for the desk here. And this chair, which this is also mom and pop's that I, I recolored for right now until I get Blender fired back up. Apparently, if you don't use Blender for like a month, you forget everything that you learned. So now I have to reacclimate re myself. But these are, um, these are silver. They were just silver, silver uh, textures that I got from that website and I repurposed them into very eloquent looking chairs. So this is the dining room, very simple, and the kitchen, and I used the, these uh, floor tiles also came from, these are all, and all the, all the uh, clip art that I got from said website was public domain. And there's a lot of different licenses that you can use or that the people put their, um, their clip art on. Look at that. The, the penguin is using the computer. Oh, he was. He just jumped down. So that's the kitchen, dining room, and the observation and living room area. Back here we have the bedroom. And check out that bed. I always wanted a like a, a four poster bed. However, I can't 
hang any fabric because of the blocks that I used. I can't get anything to seem to sit right on it yet. That's another new block. And I got a bunch of them. I got a bunch of uh, asphalt. Uh, realistic looking asphalt, which I'll show. But that looks cool. Well, I like it. And here's, here's the master bathroom. And we have access into the grand closet, walk-in closet, which leads back out into the bedroom. Duh. There we go. So that's the bedroom. Now, oh, it's nighttime now. Cool. So that is, I have a different mouse because the batteries in my other mouse, wireless mouse failed. That is, it, it turned out, the room is too big, but I don't care. It turned out okay. So up over here, we have, obviously, we have a little library off the side here, and this is another texture that I have, and it's a leather texture. So I have brown, I was, I've been looking for brown leather textures, and black leather, which I did find, which I will show off. And there's another cool wood texture that I made. They were all public domain. And they look great. Over here, we have, that's another texture. And these, are, they were so simple. Um, I think this texture was uh, 4,096 by 4,096. And I just scaled it down to 128 by 128. That looks great. So we have our, we have a tub in this one with use of the shower or use of curtains. And over here, this is the secret room. This is the, this is my computer and server play lab. Turn on some lights here. I love those lights. <laughs> and what does every server closet need? A mini fridge. Yes. That's from the mom and pops. Revamped. Um mod but i got a bunch of uh computers here playing around with them working on them and everything turned out pretty cool fish tank some storage oh this is the one with the operating system on it so it will print i have my printer set up which is over yonder there. There's nothing there to be printed right now. I've already printed. So this is this is like a secret scroll room. And as a bonus, got this cool area here. What I what I forgot is that part of you have to you have to imagine that this entire area was a quarry. And originally when I started playing with this map. I'm going to fly out here. This goes down into, obviously, some caverns. But where it came out, right here, is in, in the water. And this is the... When I originally started playing with this world, I had put, like, 30 or 40 uh, blocks of TNT. And it created this just weird area i mean it took out all of this that's why this looks like this and I, over time over time i have crafted it and made it better there's the uh water pump for the uh pool how or the uh bath house in here and it just it turned out really great so i never i never um covered this hole up and I don't know why and then when I was digging this room I broke into here and I, I'm like I've been here before because there's torches 
So that is that. So it's a real cool kind of just like secret area. You can come relax, watch the water go into the caverns. I'm going to make this better with, make it more realistic looking because, you know, when are you going to see a cavern, you know, <laughs> that smooth of a ceiling? Ah, that one didn't work. But that will, uh, I don't want to do that yet. That will do that. Then we come back up. And we're not done yet. No. So I, I thought that was a cool little addition. So it's a it's a gaming and computer repair room. Every everybody's dream to have a, a room dedicated only to computer equipment or whatever else that you want that you might like. So this is the pro my this is my new private residence. Library, sitting room. Everything works. Everything plays real nicely together. And these windows are believable. There is, I'm going to put a picture up. There you go. Of an aquarium in Japan, which has the largest acrylic windows around the tank. And it is really cool. And I first learned about it from a song, uh, a band named um, this. Uh, I've 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 shown it in a video before. An artist by the name of Ralston, a uh, photographer, had used a song from Barcelona and filmed at that studio. Look at that! The penguins are loving this. So this was a very very kind of hard area to. To fill. Notice there's no support. These are the supports to make it realistic. And then, so we have this way out here, which leads back to the train station. I have two different colored bricks, and that's a new one too. Um, up here is the old pool house. So I'm, this area is not done because I'm not even sure I want to put the pool or I want to keep the pool here, but it still works. So we have this kind of nice area here. I downsized the deck. I did some more um, crafting on the outside, which I will show. I am lagging big time. I don't know why, but we want to go to daytime because this is going to be really cool to see. So we have all that when I show the outside and everything's supported because this is built into the side of like a, a mini mountain. Up here we have the upstairs bathroom for guests. This is like a party area where you can have a, you know, a lot of people get together, swim. There's going to be a table here. Um, yeah, I don't know what. What I was thinking, where's my chairs? And my little mod here has been getting, do I want to use that one or that one? I'm going to show these blocks off real quick also. Uh, everything that I've been playing with. So right here, one, one, two, three. We don't want to go too far. doesn't it, it really doesn't matter is that in the center yeah that's in the center I want to leave enough room to walk hmm I'm just I'm just throwing stuff out here literally so, if, do I want to use the gray chairs, or do I want to use the black chairs? Don't know. Or both. 
Hmm. See, now that chair won't go, that chair won't stick to the window, but that one will because I, they're two different blocks and I haven't, I have not whitelisted that one yet. So what we are going to do here is just a simple window or a simple table for people to sit. Now, I should have not put that one there because I don't want it in the way. And this video will not be 45 minutes. As I say that, it'll be 50. So there you have it. So what we are going to do here is we have a nice little seating area over here. We have... That was very um not cool and to make it realistic that's a a, a post now this is this area is interesting so we have the kitchen here and we have more we have a little kitchenette here you know i forgot the ventilation and we got that going on. We have the bathroom up here. I'm going to show the deck, the decks off in a minute. So we have this beautiful deck area back here, which overlooks all the dead remnants of dead animals. I don't know why they do that. I thought there was a time limit when, when those particles expire. So we have that. We come over here. We have more seating. And then we have these glorious we have these glorious decks and overhangs. That's the next house that's gonna get renovated. It's kind of like a Frank Frank Lloyd Wright, the waterfall house, a, a very poor um implementation of it. It's called the Cyan House. <laughs> but that's the next item up for bids that's going to be remodeled. So we have these great decks. We come over here and then this is the, this is the like spare bedroom, guest room. Oops. And I'm going to explain these carpets. These are CG decor carpets because I originally failed at, look at that, look at those views. Because I originally failed at the, and these were only single space between the floor and uh, the, the bottom area, the next room. And what happens is you can't change the block because if you change the block, it's going to change the ceiling of, the, of downstairs. Now, what I've done is, real quickly, here's another uh, walk-in closet for the guest. Put their stuff and drawers so this is the gray carpet from cg decor and this is the white carpet and you're going to need a screwdriver if you want to use this on the walls or on the ceiling because it only places as you guessed here's carpet layer dark gray and it only places like that so if you're going to want to use it on the wall you're going to need your screwdriver and bam and it, it's real thin, so it, it doesn't, um, to use a perspective, this is my, this is my um, dark gray panel from the circular saw. You can see how thick that is, and you can see how thin that he made, that uh, that developer made the carpet. And links to all the mods and everything are in the show notes, as usual, or on my website. So we have, we just have a simple bed. I'm going to put a, a piece of artwork here just to, um, just to make it real pretty like. So bam and bam. Yeah, that, that doesn't, 
It doesn't look too good. Okay. You know what? That 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 just that's fine. No, that's not fine. Hmm. You know what would be cool? Let's try something real quick. We're gonna put that there. Put that there. Because that goes that goes all the way through. And let's try great. That's a that's another great. So that's the grate that I got from. See, that goes all the way through to the stairwell. Now, there's a problem with the one grate. You can see through it, but in certain circumstances, you can see all the way through it. It'll, it'll, it'll. There, you can see it. You can see how it's looking through everything. And it's a good looking, it's a good looking block, but I have to figure it out. It's in a T, uh, Targa TGA format. So, yeah. But for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this. Yeah. What are you going to do? It's not bad. And then last but not least, now the only drawback to using the carpet, as you can see here, this door, you can't put a piece of carpet there. So you just have to use your imagine. Where did that place? You just have to use your imagination in that, you know, it's just a wall to wall carpet. And if you use furniture that has feet, Obviously, you can't use it because whatever's underneath it will be the original block, which that's what I have there. Oh, I wanted to see. That's too close. So, like I said, the ceiling was all rock, and now it's white, which gives it... If you ask anybody, when you use a lighter color than the walls on the ceiling, it, gives, it adds the height. So in here, as you can see... I can't use, I can't really use the carpet because, you know, I can, however, I can't do anything on that. That looks kind of goofy though. But this does not. Yeah, it does, but who cares? So, and you can't use, I can't use the carpet up here because I have the drapes hanging off of here. To give the end, you know, to make it look like shower curtains. But that's fine. You just have to use your imagination. I put the window here for the bathroom. And it's passable. You gotta, like I said, you gotta understand that this is all um, in the side of a, in the side of a mountain. So over here, this doorway here leads to the upper part. And this is very interesting because... Look at that. You have this beautiful, gorgeous, ecologically friendly area overlooking everything. There's, and <laughs> there's a lighthouse. A lighthouse, which absolutely, well, yeah, you got this body of water over here. And there's where I moved the lighthouse that was sitting here. It is over there now. And it is all fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It is... Actually, I plant, this is an old demonstration for, uh, one of our, one of our, um, subscribers, George was asking about making water fountains and I forgot to take that out. Cool. So here's, here's the original lighthouse and it looks better here because look at the, you have the ocean and then there's the secret squirrel, uh, Research lab under the water over there. So let's take before we end this video, let's take a look at the outside of our building here. And I, I wanted to make it hidden as much as possible. And I did sort of, I did start to craft this area. So let's take a, a slow fly around real quick. So that's how that looks. And I still have more finagling to do and you can see how 
it creates kind of an overhang over the, the bottom part. And that was intentional because I want to build out this area. And that's how that looks now with the, um, with the lighthouse removed from it. I think it looks, I think it looks a lot better. Now over here, there's the tree. Thank you. Over here, I, I tried getting artistic, artsy like, because I'm actually going to try building out this bottom part a little bit and making it more jagged, especially right here. That's a, that's a problem area. So right here, I would like to kind of bow this area out and then I might have to move the fire pit, obviously, but make the hill go up into it. So, so it looks more natural and there's a lot more things I can do with it, but I'm not flying through that tree. Nope. I like it. It need it, it just has a couple tweaks that that won't turn. That's fine. It has a couple tweaks and such that I want to do to make it look more realistic. So, uh, real quickly, let's take a look at some, while well, I have you here, let's take a look at some blocks that I created, which look, which look really, really good. And I'm really, um, let's see. What, what is new? That's new, that's new, that's new. Chair Leather 4. Um, I created... I used the wrong one. Yeah, I'm not... Um, I have a lot to... <laughs> get to on... That's tile one, tile two. Uh, what else did I do? Stone wall, which is okay. Oh, these are ground three. Let's let's place some of this stuff real quickly before I let you go, because this is these are really cool. There's a black leather chair. So these are the, these are the four. These are the four, these are like leather, different variations of leather chairs. And you can see the detail on those. And we already saw that one. That's like a an old worn leather chair. And that's almost like a suede chair. And then we have that tile. We have that. And you can see, you see? How you can see the pool underneath, even though it, it's it's solid. So I have to look into why that does that. Then we have that dark stone. Stone wall is okay, but because of, I have to clean up that moss because it, it creates a pattern. These are really, really cool. Um, these are different road pavings and these were all public domain and what I ended up doing was they came in massive files let's see that was and there's D A B C D the leather um, that's the tables there they are there they are. And these really aren't meant for, um, ooh. These really aren't meant, where's my D? C, what is that? C, B, A, I need D. Huh. Oh, it's over here. So there's, there's the four different kinds of, 
And these are all 128 by 128. Those are those. Those are those. Great English. And here is some wood. All can be chopped by the circular saw. I wouldn't want to build an entire house out of these because there's no lines to split them, but they make great tabletops and furniture and like little flooring sections and stuff like that. So these are, the, oh, the bricks before, before I let you go, show you the, show you the bricks because I already showed the leather block. And those leather I have in block form also because I, I can cut them to make, oh, the, oh, I almost let you go before showing you the cool stuff. Which I have a, a whole patio and driveway done. Those are color tiles. And then we have, we have the one color brick and a two color brick. That cool or what? And the great thing about these bricks, and so let's say I wanted to do this. Now, you know what? I didn't want to do that. But one of the other thing is, um, and I spelled that wrong, concrete. If I take my blast resistant concrete and I take it over to my circular saw, where is it? There it is. Circular saw, and I grab this one. And put that on top. You have to play around. You can play around with different... Um, but you can create some posts out of that. It's just one of my ideas. I have loads of ideas. Now that would that would sort of look good. One of the one of the things that there might be those blocks might be too small. So I'm gonna have to go back to and these tile too, if you can you see how they, they tile. So I'm gonna have to go and that one's fine. That one's fine. That one needs work. These are all fine. Different um blocks these are just specific use blocks and so one of one of the things about those bricks is that the brick might be the brick might be too small and I'm gonna play with the scaling of it uh, when I get a chance just to make sure so there you have it There is the completed walkthrough and the sculpted outside. See, there you have them. They look, I think they're the right size. Maybe they could be bigger. But ah, uh, another another forty minute video. I told you. So <laughs> there you there you have it. So I'm gonna be. I'm going to be doing, we're going to renovate that house next. I'm going to be doing some more sculpting, as you can see here. I really like, I really like how this is turning out. And uh, go from there. So, um, gorgeous weather in Chicago. And on that note, I'm going to do some video editing. And go from there. So until the, um, that's cool. Wow, it doesn't line up. <laughs> it's one block off. I think it's one block off. Yep. Because of the way, that's fine. Because of the way it's sat up here. And I had that before. Oh, now the turtles and the sharks come. All right, that's going to do it. Thank you very much for watching. And um, 
A shout out to Nathan again for the suggestion on opengameart.org. I've used openclipart.org in the past for presentations and graphics. Actually, one of the posters that I have with the uh, Angry Piranha is from openclipart.org. So um, you got to head over to Nathan's channel. You can watch the live stream that he did. And there's a lot of very, very good, useful... There's a lot of great information that he gives out in his uh, in his streams. Um, I'm definitely a fan of it. So thank you again for watching. All the links will be in the show notes. And uh, everybody have a fantastic day. And uh, goodbye.